Welcome to the Deerfield yeah. Finance Committee meeting of March 19th. First item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the March 12th meeting. You do have that over here someplace, right? Thank yes. Thank you. Um, you need another one? I got one. If you have another one, yeah. It's attached to the agenda. It. It's attached to the agenda. This is, yeah. this is last week's. No. Can't help. Is it? Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, it is. <coughs> it's in here somewhere. Okay, you've got the. Uh, Minutes of the meeting in front of you, I think. Yep. Any questions? Make a motion to approve. Your motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? No. One abstention? 501. Yes. Okay, first item to look at tonight. Thank you, Bruce. So basically, here's the thought. Uh, I don't know that we'll be able to tackle every single one of the open items tonight, but we should become pretty close. And, uh, and then next week, if we're close enough, and I think we probably will be, We'll look at revenues and expenses so that we can see where we stand. Does that make sense, everyone? Uh, yeah, I think the slot yes. we're doing that tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay. So the first item that we have, okay, just in the order in which it's listed here, is uh, we need to take another look at the police department's capital, the cruiser. Uh, John has indicated that the bids that he's got, or the quotes that he's got, uh, are about five thousand, about four thousand dollars higher than what he requested initially. So he's requesting that we increase the the amount from forty-eight thousand to, or forty-eight thousand five hundred and fifty-two thousand five hundred. Yeah, I have a copy of the quote here in front of me, and it comes to fifty-two thousand three hundred and forty dollars. So and that, and that includes all the add-ons. It does. It includes absolutely everything. So I guess it's, the console was a big issue. Yeah, the add-ons themselves are almost fifteen thousand dollars. So yeah. And they're they're basically according to John, there really was very little that they can he could take out of the existing vehicle and move to the new vehicle. Right. The, the new vehicles are different chassis, slightly different. Everything is slightly different size than the vehicle. So what would you like to do? Does anyone want a copy of the, the quote? This one is 10,000. No, 10,000, but yeah, 10,000 bucks more. What would we approve already? Well, 48? And actually, actually, for the last, at least the last year, if not the last couple of years, the, the price of the vehicle has come in a little higher than what we budgeted, but he was able to absorb it in his own budget, you know, the remainder of the difference. Um, I just, him and I discussed it, and we felt that 4000 was too much to try to find, find room for in his budget. Motion to recommend to uh, the right. police department capital 210 5800 in the amount of 5200. I'll second it. 52,500? Yes. Okay. It's moved, it's seconded. Any further discussion? Who seconded it? Oh, I did. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you, I thought I heard, actually, I thought I heard you second it, Bruce. But. All right, it's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Unanimous? 6-0. Six 6-0. Zero. Six zero. <clears throat> so we might want to start looking at, if it's going to be $10,000, 
can, well, this next year won't be a 10,000 mile increase. No, it should be, be one time, hopefully. Be 10, no, but it'll be 50. No, it's going to be the same increase for no, the next five years. The same yes. increase, so it's going to be 52,000 bucks. By right, one vehicle. Right. Yeah. And it's going to continue every year. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to be into this brand new. So we might have to ask them to look at maybe trying to stretch a vehicle. I mean, we to, we're, but we're paying an additional $52,000 in, in five years, $50,000, mm -hmm. oh, which is the cost of a vehicle. Th these vehicles, if you go back to the eight, nine years to the Crown Vicks, yeah. the last Crown Vic, I think, was under $30,000. I know, but so this is we didn't uh, anticipate 10000 So this was... This is twenty thousand dollars more than the crown fix. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, all right. The next item, I think, is the Frontier Regional School. Yeah. Of the ones budget. that I handed out to you tonight, most of those are ones that we'll go over. Um, the Deerfield Elementary School you already voted on last week. I just didn't have a budget sheet for you last week, so that one goes in your book. But then the next one is the Frontier. Sorry, Skip. And that is a, without, without transportation, that's a 1% increase. Transportation will kill us. But Which one are we looking at now? Frontier, Frontier Regional School. 312-5400. The number is $3,812,413. Yes, I had a question, but it kind of ties in with the capital at the same time. And uh, what I see in this budget that they increase the general repairs, which I would assume is uh, maintenance and so forth, yep, I mean, from fifty nine to sixty four thousand, as well as they said a continual line item for uh, deferred maintenance for the next ten years, plus a one time. Uh, deferred ma uh, maintenance of uh, 47750 a year. So that's going to bring us up to $130,000 a year for repairs and maintenance? Uh, I'm not sure. Who would, who sat? That's a question out that. for the open. I mean, that's. Hopefully it's a one time. What's that? I say hopefully it's a one time. No, it's not. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a 64 plus if you go to their capital plan they have it every every year for the next 10 years on top of it on top of the salt I thought it was supposed to be 20 you're just saying it's 47,000 on deferred maintenance uh, there's a one time there's a one time on the capital for forty seven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars yeah and then for recurring deferred maintenance there's a whole line that goes across from year one right through year 10, that goes from 10,000 to 83,000 and so forth. So that doesn't even include the annual maintenance that they have in here. That was my understanding of it too, Bruce. That's what I understood. So, so we deferred maintenance that badly over the years? <coughs> Uh, from what I understand, yes. Pardon? From what I understand, yes, we did. I mean, the, uh, <coughs> well, is that so, going to continue? So what, no. what you're looking at Ooh. says in year one, 2020, one-time deferred maintenance. Right. 47500 Right. And then the line above that is for recurring. It's in the capital budget. Which yes. And you also have that in year one, too. Plus, plus you've increased the, line, the request is the increase of uh, um, 5,000 5, uh, for this year on top of that. I don't think we have the, the approved budget. I think that's the problem. <clears throat> Whatever you're looking at is proposed. 
Well, from what I gather, what they're proposing is what, they're, what uh, their proposal is what they're sending on through. I heard. What was the total amount for the loan then? Uh, okay. One, one seven or one nine? So I think they reduced it to one seven million and took that two hundred thousand and spread it out. And Last time I saw it was like one point eight. The total, total Deerfield, this one, uh, total Deerfield uh, is one million nine hundred ninety-one thousand nine hundred three. Yeah, that's the higher one. So, so I think there is a lower one that took the two hundred thousand out of that and and put it back into deferred maintenance. I, it was it was my understanding that the total oh, I'm plus sure or minus was, was three million dollars. Do we have that figure? Yep. I, I don't have that. I did not uh, print a copy of that. I don't think we have the final one they voted. So I mean, well, they we don't vote it. They're not going to vote it until April. April fourth. I understand. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if Diana has a total number. Because this was revised uh, February 14th, uh, February 22nd, so that's almost a month. That one is This one is uh, uh, February 20, 21st. Well, maybe the, so do you find that deferred maintenance being consistent with what's in the budget? No. Well, I, I guess I'm just concerned because that, that for for year 2020 that that is 47 57 57 plus 59 so you've got over a hundred thousand dollars in uh, maintenance and deferred maintenance in the first year and then the deferred maintenance keeps on going uh, year after year so it looks like we're well let's see they build a line item in their budget well, they built it in the capital, plus, right. plus they're building it in their budget. In so, their they're, budget so they're also. building it. So they're building it in two places. That was my concern. And also, uh, the first year, I believe, goes to the uh, town floor at the annual town meeting. But if that's approved, then that builds into the budget. And from that point on, uh, I believe that it just becomes part of the school budget, so it does not have to, I mean, it gets voted at town floor at the annual town meeting, but to, uh, to basically say, no, you don't want to do this anymore, it's too much money, you'd have to have three out of four towns vote no on it. Otherwise, if you didn't have the majority of the towns voting no, it would go through. The well, I thought the bond is all four towns up to vote. Right. The yes. votes that we're taking, either at town, do we take a vote at town meeting, or is that strictly? I believe we're we're taking a vote at town meeting um, to approve of the of the the project. The, okay. Right. Yeah. And and that vote is is a vote that allows Frontier to borrow uh, whatever the number is. I think so. Three million dollars. And that's, that's the vote that's being taken. We know what the intent was, but I don't know that there's anything that holds Frontier to using the money exactly as they put out in their report. Well, that's what I'm concerned with, because in their report, um, and this is right out of the report, it's not uncommon for regional school districts and municipalities when budgets are tight to divert funds from maintenance and repair accounts to finance other critical spending purposes. As a result, maintenance and repair costs previously regarded as routine become, with delayed action, more involved and more costly. So 
but they, you know, the, the way that statement reads, maybe that's not what it's intent, but there's nobody here to answer that. It basically says their repair and maintenance account would become a slush fund for other accounts as necessary. And well, we'll see that every year, right? What's that? We'll see, we'll get a report on your capital expenditures. Not necessarily. What, that's what, what it says in their. That's what it said in their document. No, that's they, that's only their their document is only a bunch of proposals. Because no, uh, it's going to be up to the capital improvement uh, committee, and then the, then the final subcommittee, and then the final uh, decision is still made by the school committee. Right. So. Uh, we are addressing the yeah, wrong thing. the annual the annual budget, uh, the school budget, as opposed to the capital projects. Did you did you found something in their budget sheet that showed the, those maintenance numbers, deferred maintenance numbers? Uh, page thirteen. Page 13 of their report? Yeah, under the first group, it's uh, expenses, Main building, general village. repairs, general oh, yeah, okay. supplies. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. 110000 including the salary of the facilities manager. Right, and I didn't include that. I'm just looking down. You're looking at the 5000 bucks. Oh? At the uh, uh, expense buildings, general repairs. Yeah, five thousand increase. Right. So but the twenty thousand is is gone yeah. okay. that they originally proposed. I would assume these are just. You're talking no, about just not. general general maintenance on this. That's on this, a change. Uh, that that column is. Um, that's that's the change from the prior year. The budget is over to the left. But twenty does nothing. Oh, yeah, there's 20 in this year, right? <clears throat> right? There's all, so. Still in there. But it was $64,000 last year, right? No, no 59000 59, 59, 59, yeah. <clears throat> so these are just general maintenance. Right, uh, these... Repairs that they're talking just like we would we would budget for repairs for the town office buildings. You never know what you're going to run against. You know, you always you always. It seems like an awful lot of money, but I wonder what the actual is. I don't know. For most recent year. So, so what was that? Yeah. So, so what were they previously calling their uh, maintenance repair accounts? I have no idea. And that's that's exactly. I would assume that it's the same thing because they budgeted fifty nine thousand for fiscal nineteen. Um, right. Well, to me, that's just general maintenance. Right. But uh, supposedly they've been diverting it from their uh, repair and uh, maintenance funds over the years, and that's why we're hundreds of thousands of dollars behind in the deferred in the deferred maintenance. So where have they been? You're talking about the annual maintenance repair of fifty thousand dollars. Which is the stuff on the back page too. Yeah. <clears throat> Were they, is that right, Bruce? You're talking about the fifty thousand dollars in the annual repairs slash maintenance? This here? Yes. Uh, I'm looking at the for uh, for the recurring deferred maintenance, ten thousand thirty five, eighty two five, eighty two five, eighty three five. And this is all under deferred maintenance for the next 10 years. Which page? I don't see it. This, this is on page 17 oh, yeah. okay. of their report that was from way back. So you page 75 
questions. Looks like we only have one. Does it make sense to me? No. I don't know. I'll see if we can have a discussion. Yeah. Well, th th this is out of the original report. I understand. So you know, this is. But this is uh, this doesn't. This has an annual maintenance repair of fifty thousand dollars in there. Total debt, and it's that to be addressed out of E and D it says in future capital requests to the town. We have the same piece of paper, page one. I don't think so. What's that? You're looking at two different reports. I know. You got me. I'm not that familiar with Did it. I'm not familiar sure? with it at all. No, I'm not sure. You this? I'm lost. This one? Okay. What are you looking at? <clears throat> oh, yeah, but this is what I'm looking at. I know. I don't know. Well, that, that's the original report. But that, I don't know. That's not going to do it. It's not in here anymore. It's what we just given. Too much paper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't give you one hand. It had. Oh, all right. Good. It didn't. I thought I gave you the wrong one because he sent me an update. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Good. Yeah. So this is all we got from. Superintendent, these two pieces of paper. Um, that and the, and the vote, which I think I had provided previously, but I could give you a copy of that too. That actually came in an email, contact of the email. But this, these were the attachments. Okay. You can. That's what I thought. That this had changed. This wasn't. Yeah, it's actually lower than. So what? they're trying to figure out how. Do I understand what's on yes. the no Yeah, there is, there is some big number changes there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. To the um, that they. Didn't want to, we didn't, anything that was less than 10 years of life cycle, they didn't want to put in the debt. So they took it out, that was my understanding. And that's where we probably get the 5,000, I don't know where, where, they're, where they're putting it, but it is less than what we initially thought. So do you feel it was, yeah, so, yeah, the first the 2020 number is almost ninety thousand dollars less. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So that's why I thought that you know we hit, we they were supposed to come talk to us about it, and they probably will, but it'll be too late. Yeah. Um, but it looks like it's less than. Looks like they're asking total debt, two point one. I thought it was closer to four, but initially it was. Well. <clears throat> well, I think in their initial um, report, they had put money in for stabilization, which you can't um, do. You can't take out debt for, so they've they've removed that. And, and I think um, they. And I'm not sure what else has happened between. I think they removed a lot of things that were not um, at least had to be replaced uh, in less than ten years. They removed things that had to be replaced in less than 10 years. It's crazy to bond for something that you have to continually replace in five years. That's deferred maintenance, I believe, what they're calling deferred maintenance. So I, I assume if I'm looking at this correctly, and I'm looking at this yep. each year, hmm? <coughs> where it says 10 year total, year, year one, 2020. And I look down underneath it, it shows these are the, so the track, and this is not necessarily year one, this is the track, $600,000, oversight 30, yeah. so a total of 630 for the track, and then other major spending, HVAC upgrades, upgrades in LMC, whatever LMC is, anyone know what that is? Carpet upgrades, 150,000. Controls, I believe. Pardon? Lighting controls. Some yeah, some I don't controls. know. Yeah. Uh, repave parking lot, repair structures, 310,000. Replace roof, 405,000. That's the library roof only, I believe. Okay. The, uh, so you add those up, starting with a 600,000, well, starting with the 138,200 yep. down to the 405,000. That comes to 1,173,200. Yep. Oversight on that piece of it, 
23,464, uh, and then adding up the 600,000, the 30,000, the 1 million 173, the 23,464 gives us 1.826664. Is that, are we all yep. mm -hmm. on the same page? Okay. Yep, right. It's oversight, like a clerk at the works or something like that? I assume so. I don't know. <clears throat> so is, are the selectmen taking this thing up tomorrow night? Uh, I do not know. Because I wasn't, I, I was going to skip, <laughs> skip the, uh, the, uh, Capital on the on the budget. We eventually have to put that in, but until I get a better understanding, it didn't seem to make a lot of sense to just no. take these numbers because because they still got the uh, and this to be addressed uh, with budget E and D and future capital requests. Yeah, if they have the uh, the deferred maintenance again, the ten year total of four hundred and fifty six thousand. Right. Say it again. There's um, a. A lot of four items that are capital be backlog six hundred thousand, yeah. unscheduled major needs four hundred thousand, deferred maintenance four hundred fifty thousand, yeah. annual maintenance fifty or yep. thereabouts. Right, and right. So to be addressed out of be with with the budget E and D or future capital requests. So there's another million. No, close. Yeah, yeah another million. six and four more. More, more, more like a one point five million. Yep. So if you add those two together, you bought three, three, three. So I don't know what we're voting on. We're not voting on this. No, I know, but I don't know what this. <laughs> this is what we're supposed to have. Somebody come and talk to each finance committee. The explain uh, this. Yeah, I, I don't. It, I think it's. I think we need to postpone the the capital piece, which is not in. Right. Yeah. Unless there's, unless somebody knows a lot more about the information we're Thank sitting on now. Okay, but we do need to to look at the the, the frontier budget, operating budget. Yeah. I had a concern um, in their first in their summary sheet, um, heating and utilities uh, up seven and almost nine percent. I thought the prices have been going up for both gas and electric. Yeah, which so that doesn't surprise me. Okay. I wonder what the employee insurance is. Same as ours. No. It's no. Not. What are they, the plan changes? They have their own. So yes, they, they do have their own. Their own what? Health insurance? Own, yeah. It's all through the Hampshire Trust, though, isn't it? I have no idea. Last I knew it was. Well, if it's through, okay. if it's through Hampshire Trust, that's what we discussed the other night, where they get the benefit of the non-increase, 25% of it. Is that? 25% of the benefit. The, the benefit that... Supposed. Supposed benefit that you would have been charged or something. It's great. They say plan changes. Well, it could be they discussed that they have a lot of several, any teachers retiring, new teachers coming in. Well, that's not a big number in salary changes, though. Well, they don't. I don't think they know that. Well, in their budget, page one right here, the summary. <coughs> Projected yeah. so adjustment, I know. The, the, they're in the process of negotiating salaries, so whatever that they eliminated the teacher too. So whatever the increase is, it is hidden someplace in the budget. Increase of what? Salary increases. Salaries. Because yeah. they don't have a teacher salary or other salary schedules. They're all in the process of negotiation. So whatever they put in, whether it's one percent, two percent, three percent, it's buried someplace. What, what about the out of district? Tuition, so that's about fourteen seven ninety nine. Don't is that 
Do we know where that's going? Out of, out of district tuition? I don't to them? Know. Yeah. No. Would it be Smith Boak? No, it would not. No, it would not. wouldn't? No. Okay. I'm just wondering if there was a line item here why there's not a line item for transportation for that one student. It depends. Tickets. Maybe they know that maybe that person isn't going to Tickets, bed transportation. transportation, is that what you mean? No, the out of district. Well, maybe it is bed transportation. I don't know. There's a line item called sped transportation for yep. 222000 that's typically that's the, probably the that's typically the transportation within the going around picking up kids and bringing them to school right and they go in that one of the special buses. special needs students yeah, yeah. That, that can't ride the right what else can't be answered they got eighty two thousand dollar increase on in instructional assistance yeah I've added four. I don't know. Where's that? I I'm there about twenty, well, maybe three. And then between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars. I missed what page the page that was on. So I mean, what's the enrollment change? Did you? Yeah, the enrollment change was minimal. Um, that was um, well, it was twenty-two. 22 enrollment change? Yeah, add 22. Do you feel added six, nine, I mean, Conway added 13. That's the foundation formula. Excuse me. Um, Deerfield added, yeah, that's right, nine. That's correct. It's on page 16. Salaries are down in total, category 28,000. Mm -hmm. So, it's wait, a, so huh? they've got numbers. If any of those are contracts, those contract increases are not disclosed there. All right, so some could be the rate. More money and offset by less yeah, teachers. I don't, well, yeah, I, well, I don't Could know. Be. And more assistance, I don't know. The, uh, and they lost the teacher, sped teacher. Is LMC Library Media Center? Maybe, Library yes, Media Library, Media Library Media Center. Center. Library Media Center. Yeah, there you go. Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Good, good pick. Well, I'm looking at all the upgrades and I mm -hmm. know we, 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 we were harping for stuff there. Mm -hmm. Skip asked what LMC was. I don't think what page was on. Oh, it was on this. It was on the budget. Hmm? Where did you see LMC before Skip? Uh, it was on this PC or someplace. Oh, it was on this budget. Yeah. Yes. And it's it's also in this uh, projected pack yeah. capital so improvements. So. so did you, Bruce figured it out? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I heard him. I'm guessing. No, you're right. I well, that's correct. So what would you like to do, guys? It's up $40,000. Yeah. I'll make a motion. You mean for our share? Yeah. Yes. 1%. Without capital. Without, Correct. Or without transportation. Without transportation. Right. And I guess one percent with an increase in enrollment. Yeah, nine more kids. One percent with an increase in enrollment. That's the 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 enrollments. What, that the budget is broken up into two pieces as far as cost goes. There's the foundation piece that they have to take in the state, and then the rest of it is based on enrollment. Mm -hmm. The enrollment is a five-year average. Right. So we may have a decrease in enrollment uh, from last year to this year, uh, but you, it was, you'd um, have to look and see what the decrease is in the five-year average or the change. The five-year average was on... No, I'm looking at the enrollment as a justification for the change in the budget. Right, but the uh, enrollment change is minus four. It should be a correlation. Five I think. 
five-year average. Oh, the average, okay. Well, I don't know why they put enrollment drop between 13 and 14. I don't know why they put that. That's pretty consistent, then. That's the determined assessments. But I'm looking at what's the actual change in the students? It's nine yeah. students. No, yeah. right. But if, if it's going to increase, then you'd expect the budget to increase. The budget is made up of two pieces. One is the foundation piece. It comes from the state. It's in there. Right. And then the other is Page based 18. on enrollment, but it's based on the five-year average enrollment. The budget is? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's to keep it from doing this. Instead, it does this. So when they sit down and say, what, how much are we going to have to spend for pencils? They look at the five-year average of yep. enrollment. Yep. Yes. Based on the number of students. The total number, total dollars, okay. and, then, and then it's based on the enrollment. So where Deerfields went up only $100,000 on the foundation budget, what our contribution had to be, Conway went up $130,000. Conway's getting whacked. This year. I think it last year, too, if I remember right. Did they? Mm -hmm. yeah. But you remember that cut? Were you at the meeting, the comment, when some member of the Conway Finance Committee said, great job, you know, you, know, you guys don't increase your budget more than two and a half Yes, that was, that was uh, the town minister. Good. They should. Should look at the budget, shouldn't you? <laughs> well, he didn't know that. Obviously not. <laughs> so I made a motion. So we, there is a motion to what? for three million eight hundred and twelve thousand four hundred thirteen dollars. Four hundred thirteen dollars. Second. It's moved and seconded. Any further discussion? There being none. All those in favor of the frontier budget. Aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Abstentions. So five one zero. The next one, Frontier Transportation. <laughs> Sounds like a woodpecker. Which, which one is it? Is it me? Oh, it's a table. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why that they put all the increase on the frontier. Well, all the schools. I mean, I don't know. A decrease. That's a good thing. It's a good, well, I don't know if it is. The, the, the increase going from, it was 70,000 last year, right? Yeah. To 162,000 this year. Yeah, I know. So it makes their total budget an increase of 3.45% if right. you add those two numbers together. Right. And But I don't understand why. If we have a, a bid for five schools, why the frontier takes four fifths of the money or whatever, three fifths of the money. I don't care if frontier takes it all. <coughs> we pay 52% of it. It's a hell of an increase. I'm curious what the transportation is, is overall. We've got some in the schools. The overall. We yeah, increase we some, for all the some. transportation was what? Uh, just for Frontier. Yeah, but for all the schools, it, for it was all the everything. It schools. was up for the everything. elementary school, too, wasn't it? No, no, I, no, I, don't, down. I don't remember. Down. Was it down? Every one of them. And then you got sports, and then you got SPED. I'm just wondering globally what the change is. We have to ask what the bid was. Yeah. From last year to this year. Yeah. Oh, last year, last year's was the, or the current year, it's the last year of a five year contract. Mm -hmm. The year before yes. the bid, compared to this year's bid. Mm -hmm. Whatever we're paying. And that seems to be a difference 
but I don't know by how much, but it's not prorated. It's all pushed into one budget, it looks like, most of it. Is the hundred and sixty two thousand just that's just Deerfield's share, right? No. That's, yes, that's correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I mean if it was it would, be an, it would be an increase if that was the total. Right. Uh, and Deerfield was fifty percent of it. I know. <clears throat> uh, what would you like to do here? Would you like to uh, Can I make a comment, comment that sure. may or may not I'm, because I'm not positive about this. I have a general feeling that maybe <clears throat> that's why I asked if all schools what the the percentage increase for transportation was for all the schools in Deerfield how much it was up percentage wise I, I'm not sure if it was a large percentage or not I don't believe it was uh, just if I remember correctly from hearing people speak at school committee meetings but uh, your regional school, remember, regional transportation does get reimbursed for some of that funding. Yeah, but it was, was the cut elementary school does not. So I don't know. That's why Wait. I'm wondering if there was a emphasis on the some, regional. Sometimes compared we'd, to the elementary, we do. I'm not positive, but I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, but if the some thing, thought. I That's think what I heard too. The governor's budget shows a significant decrease in regional transportation costs. Mm -hmm. I mean, cut in half. Yeah, I know. The regional transportation has been so going now down we, every time. So right. now we take and dump all the excess well, in the regional. I mean, the question is is this 162000 is that the, everything? And figuring they're going to get nothing from the state? So if you want, we can table this and we'll see if we can get more information for the next meeting and get a breakdown on it. Yeah, I'd like to see it. I'll move that. Table it. Table it. Got a motion? Is there a second? I'll second it. Second. It's moved, seconded to table. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Me, me. So I never got that right. What's that? I always just say, uh, nay. Yeah, nay. 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 I, never get course, remember? I know. Nay. <laughs> I'm so used to voting affirmatively. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's, that's probably good. So, right. table so that 600. No, 510. Who's against? So no. so. Okay. 510. <clears throat> Let's see. Franklin Tech Assessment. It's uh, 320 It's the next one. Who didn't get a copy of this last week? Were you here? Um, I have whatever was in my box. Did you have one of those? Oh, okay, so I did print one for you. Franklin Tech. Do they do the five-year average? Do you know? Pardon? Do, do they do the five-year average also? No. 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 Uh, there's <coughs> this is a normal. So Franklin Tech assessment operating budget is uh, up about about eight percent. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Now this one is directly proportional to the number of students. Correct. So it's two fifty five, four fifty one, two, two seventy five, seven ninety four. Increase of twenty thousand three hundred dollars. Again, that's strictly on a per capita basis. And the budget that we have is, is a draft moment. Uh, yeah. The business manager indicated, you know, I asked when I went and got it last week. Uh, I 
if he anticipated that there would be any changes, he said no. At, at this point, they've gone through it, and uh, it's been pretty steady for the last several weeks. But it will be uh, later this month before they actually vote it. So. The only thing on page four of their budget summary, they left off the capital assessment for 2019. Yeah. And it had to be a partial payment. It was close to sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand five hundred and twelve. Yeah. Um, But it seems to me someplace in there, and I don't have And the verbiage, it says it's the second year's payment. First page says it's the first year of a 15-year loan. Um, but it is the second payment. But I don't know why there's such a difference. What page are you looking at, Bruce? Um, I'm looking at page 4, and the 19 budget versus the 20. The total number is correct versus page nine. It said estimated capital assessment of 237. And so this year's payment of 20,981, which is 982. Is that right? That agrees with page four. Yeah. But we paid sixteen yeah, what, what thousand. Did, what the did question is: Is it fifteen years or is it sixteen years? Oh, yeah. Where, in other words, where did the where did sixteen six, thousand come? From? Where did the sixteen thousand go? We, we gave last year. They're showing zero dollars. Unless, unless we can ask them to give us the sixteen thousand back. I would say pro put it against this year's assessment. <laughs> Thank you. What we don't want. Um, actually, was, we're, we're on the uh, tech assessment, so I should have waited. Are we getting a bigger percentage? No, it's equal. Okay. By, oh, I mean the debt or the... No, no. assessment percentage. Assessment by students. A little bit of an increase. Yeah. One tenth. Yep. I had a couple of questions, but I don't think they're worth. Well, I had a couple too. I don't, I don't think they're worth holding up the works for. I mean, it is a significant increase. I don't understand it. I mean, I looked through the budget, but I. Had a hard time finding uh, any consistency in salary increases. They range anywhere from four to eight percent, five percent, three. Uh, I don't know whether the major. I have to go through every number to find. There's little increases everywhere, and um, that just seems like a high number, eight percent increase. Yeah, it's like part a, of that is because we have one more student. Yeah. And that ratio is one the, the total budget is up. It's a tenth of the percent. If you look on the back page, the total budget is up. 19 to 20 went from 10,000, 10, just under $11 million, to 11700000 So roughly it's a 7% increase just in the budget. Yep. Uh, and then we did have the one extra student. You take one-tenth <clears throat> one of that would be our uh, cost. For the student, so ten thousand, eleven, eleven thousand, almost twelve thousand dollar increase for that one student. Even though they do say their student costs eighteen thousand, hmm. uh, we went from three point one four to three point two four, which is a tenth um, standard. Mm -hmm.
This is why it would be nice to have these people come talk to us. They they asked, and and I said I told Russ, it's not it's not worth. I mean, what well, we have whatever we do at town meeting is going to be irrelevant. They get twenty six towns. And it would take five towns to vote down their budget, or six towns, or whatever the number is. And the re so that was that was. Do they they need to come to town meeting? And I said no. It's not even, we could vote it down at town meeting, and it's still going to pass. Understood. It looks like a approximately hundred thousand. It looks like they have a new program called they do. For, for vets, vet, yeah. vet animal science. And that's most of the money. That's hundred thousand bucks approximately. Does anyone know? Oh, if you go person on, by, person by name Don Thiel, or something like that. He's the school committee, difference school committee rep to the tech school. I could ask him if he can drop by and talk to us about the budget next time. You want. So I think you're right. It's, it's spinning wheels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's what a little over seven percent hike. That's what you're, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So if you know page four, I mean you've got sixty-five thousand dollar increase in transportation and a forty-five thousand dollar increase in uh, insurance retirees. So you got over a hundred thousand dollars for those two lines right there. And then we, the uh, and you got a hundred thousand before you start program. anything else. Got a hundred thousand for a new program. Yeah, yep. right. You know, so it, it's that's two hundred of which we get what percentage? Of it? Percentage of it. Two point doesn't make sense. Three percent. Well, actually, we get nine percent of the capital assessments. And three percent of that tuition costs. Anybody want to make a motion? So you want to make make a motion for the. I'll make a motion to approve the Frank County Tech Assessment 320-5410 in the amount of $275,794. Second. <laughs> it's moved. You figure it out. Got it. Uh, it's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, abstentions? So if this is uh, 600? Zero, zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. It's so then the next one is their capital. Next one is the capital, twenty thousand nine hundred eighty-two dollars. Make a motion to approve Frank Tech Capital three two zero fifty eight hundred, the amount of twenty thousand nine eighty-two. I'll second it. It's an assessment, so we don't have a whole lot mm -hmm. of choice. It's moved uh, and seconded. Okay. Any discussion? Can I just make a comment? Last yeah. year, they proposed the 16,512 was going to be over a number of years. I forget how many. Yeah. So part of this year's 20,982 should include the 16,512 that we approved last year. We knew it was going to be a long range thing and we approved it. If I, memory serves, right. That was my impression, too. I don't remember. I don't know why. What, we had, what I had in my notes was that. It was a long term. This is the first year of payment. Last year was the first year. That's right. Well, right. this, this year, uh, this year, fiscal year 19. Budget, there's nothing in their budget. So there's still yeah, budget. this year be, yeah. yeah. Where is that 16 accounted for? It's uh, in the 20,982, I'm assuming. No, the 16,000 no. has already been assessed to us. Been assessed. So we're a 16 years assessment out of a 15 year bond. So we probably should get some. I'm sure there was a partial yes. year on either end. Probably. I thought it was going to be 16,000. The reason, the reason I say that is that on page th page four, yeah. town capital assessment, 2019, zero dollars. 
Right. I, I'm just assuming so. because it, it, their budget was done before they assessed it. You're getting that page four. But we can ask the question. You know what? Okay. It's, it's moved. It's seconded. Yeah. If there's no further discussion, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Six zero zero. And I'll make a tele. I'll see if I can remember to make a telephone call and see if we can get a. You're going to also check on the frontier, frontier transportation. So. Yeah. The library? You previously approved it. So. It's on the tomorrow night's agenda for the slot. It is. There's a, there was a change, so. So um, they decided in the end that um, they were not going to request extra hours for Candace. She felt comfortable with the number of hours per week, and so they're going to the select board tomorrow to request for uh, extra hours for Julia. And so in doing that, um, she completely went, well, not completely, but she went through her budget and revised the salary numbers and then revised the books and videos and, and then the amount that was being funded by some of the other organizations and came up with a new number. So um, she was willing to come next Tuesday again and have you revote it, but uh, Skip and I talked about it today and kind of felt like maybe we should just revote it today with the idea that the select board was going to approve Julie's extra hours and then she wouldn't have to deal with it. I'm gonna make a motion to approve the Tilton Library budget, count 610-5400 for 183-961. Is there a second? Second. Moved, seconded. Any further discussion? So we had voted uh, 185-9. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is a revote. Correct. Yep. Correct. And we're voting 183 9. Yes. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? So we've got four in favor, two, zero opposed, two abstentions. Just like first time. Okay. Uh, what else? So I just thought I'd make note that um, Barbara did get um, a bid on the roof loan, the school roof loan. And so the interest on that was going to be $1,080 more than what was originally budgeted. So we did change that number. I didn't reprint um, interest on, on maturing debt budget sheets yet because I don't know where the sewer fits into all this yet. So I just thought no and sense in, in reprinting. Pardon? And the school capital. Well, yeah, that'll be different. That's a separate. That's an assessment. That's that's separate. But so so there wasn't any reason to reprint that budget sheet for right now. So. So that assessment we can not ex debt exclude. I What's, believe we can. Okay. So which one are we talking about? The frontier. It, the frontier. Yes. Yeah, and we were actually talking about Franklin uh, Tech also debt debt excluding that. If we needed to, but. well, it just seemed like it was a good idea to get debt exclusion votes if it's allowed on Franklin Tech. It's twenty thousand bucks, but that's twenty thousand uh, dollars. We can spend someplace else. That we can either spend someplace else or not spend. That'd be the best. Or one. you know, it's. Uh, so. If you vote debt exclusion, do you have to use it as a debt exclusion? I guess you uh, do, don't you? Sort of. Yeah. Ask the treasurer. Mm -hmm. She'll do whatever she wants with it. <laughs> DOR would expect it. I'm sure they'd be asking. Why don't you have it on there? So that's our last. We have one item left to vote, which we table tonight. That's it. Yeah, there's, there's a, it seems like there was something on me. Oh, you, Bruce. you're on. No, no, no. Not again. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> you're talking about the 
It's not showing on here. I think it was showing at some point. What's that? The uh, capital stabilization. Just oh. yeah. Right. I don't. I do not have it reflected on here right. at, at all. Um, but if you, I don't know if you want to look at your revenue sheets. Um, no, it's just that you know the uh, capital improvement committee had requested it, so you know we'll, we can certainly take that up. If we're looking at revenues and expenses uh, next time, I think that makes some sense to do these yeah. things at that point. Right. Yeah. Uh, so the only thing I can say is last year we put, or the year before, we put two hundred thousand dollars into the capital stabilization. The current year, nineteen, we put two hundred fifty thousand. The request I think was for two hundred fifty thousand. So why don't you? The, Another explanation of the program for the attempt. We well, about. when we originally when we originally talked about this, we talked about trying to fund this for four or five years to build up our capital stabilization uh, account. Uh, in the past, what's happened with uh, it's been coming out of free cash, and the capital program has obviously. Uh, not been able to move forward at times because we weren't able to fund some of the capital requests uh, because of lack of free cash. So the idea was to build up that stabilization fund. So if we ran into uh, some difficult years as far as general revenue and being close to uh, being able to balance the budget, we would still have a capital stabilization fund sitting there. So if we needed to fund some of those capital requests, we would be able to continue that capital program. Uh, the idea was to fund it for four or five years and then go from there. Uh, the capital uh, improvement committee this year had quite a discussion on that. Uh, because we know that monies is tight this year. So we debated whether to even request it or not. And so the uh, committee decided uh, that we would request it pending available funds. So I think Skip's idea of, of waiting another week to see where we're at with revenues is probably a very good idea. That's about where I... Does that, stands, go for, does that also go for the $900,000? That, that I told, we had a meeting, uh, a public hearing the other night with, uh, last week with the select board and with the uh, $955,000, I think it is off the top of my head. Yeah. We, we left that up to the select board. That's their call, the, uh, the sewer commissioner slash select board. We did not have a request come in for that money, but we felt that maybe we should put a number in there yep. because we didn't know what was coming down the, you know, the line with the sewer, and we'd rather at least have a number there in case we needed it than not have a number there. We didn't. We didn't recommend it. We'll no, we we tabled it. Basically, we we're going to discuss it. Yeah. That's a number Prickett says we're going to need. I understand. Need. Right. And so, so what we did was we just... What are we uh, going to do? Right. As Hopefully we'll get I, some more information. I believe, I, mean, it's I believe there's been a request of Dave Prickett to give us a, a, a new Additional, timeline. right. Yeah. We, we, have, we have the million dollars that we voted, or we don't have. The town voted to... Uh, for 2019. A million dollars for 2019, this current year we're in, to fund the uh, clarifier. The clarifier. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at some point, there uh, we need to have some sort of a discussion on. Uh, yes, on that. next week. Sounds okay to me. Right. In, uh, I wish I could give you more information. But no, I, I just want to make sure we put on hold. Right, yes. So if we need, I mean, there's a couple of things now on hold. There's right. I mean, that that, that one we we voted for, so there's nothing really no, for us to do other than, yeah. No, we didn't. 
What capital? Yes, we did. The, the we voted like, all the capital items except for two. The, the town voted at town meeting, special town meeting. Oh yeah, what I'm talking for about the this. million, right? Yeah, this, for 2019. We we broke out two items out of the capital. Mm -hmm. Right, we had approved. I think it was like 455 thousand of the capital request or something like that. And we had no recommendation on the other items. Right. On the on the on the wastewater treatment dollars in the uh, right the stabilization fund, we yes we did we didn't we didn't vote it we held it we held it what the motorcycle we voted all the motorcycle we voted that was right voted it down right we didn't and the selectmen voted it down so it's not good yeah they did so unless they changed their mind I I we never brought it up. No, we didn't vote for it. Any item that were, was requested and you didn't prioritize as a recommendation, we had no, we were silent on. Right. Yeah. Correct. We, we, vote, we voted for those items forgot, that we recommended. Yeah, I got those. I'm looking at them right here. Yeah. Right. And that means we didn't vote. The for items else. that were That's not correct. recommended by the capital improvement we plan. Didn't, we're silent. So if right. anybody asked at town meeting, we had no. We bounced to the capital right. improvement committee. Right. They just simply. Will, Okay. There's two items left that were not recommended. All right. Right. That's what I have anticipated cost. In other words, the motorcycle was not part of the capital improvement plan. It was. No, it was. No, that, the it was requested, requested but it, requested, it, it was a, not recommended. It's the capital improvement committee who puts the capital improvement plan together. And, yes, it, it was, was requested. It was, it was requested, 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 but it was capital, not recommended. Capital, but it was recommended. But it was, there were other items too, weren't there? The, the mini excavator, mini -excavator yeah. was requested and that was, was not recommended. No, uh, I don't think so. What? It's not? Not I unless the selectman so. put it on. Okay. Right. Silent over there. The, the, the select board know. can amend no. if they want. But. Well, I don't, see, I, I just don't know. So we don't know until tomorrow night what they're going to do. And also that's what we're running with the, with the uh, wastewater treatment. It's it's Sorry. above our pay grade as far as the capital improvement committee. We can't. It it comes down to the select board, and uh, slash the the sewer commissioners. So that's that's the best we can do, and that's and it's frustrating. It's frustrating for our committee. We're trying to we're trying to hit moving targets, and it's not easy. So you try to anticipate the best you can. Anything else we need to take up tonight? I'm just curious on Frontier Region where their OPEB is, because I'm strongly against OPEB. It's in there. And is it in there? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either, but they said they've always funded it. If you, we look at the you would know, would you, Brenda? I do not know, no. Hmm? I, I, I looked, went through their, their full budget and didn't see it either. But that's not to say it's not there. Oh, David Thiel. T H I E L. Anybody know it? Hmm? David Thiel. T H I E L. He sounds familiar. He's the Franklin County Tech's Deerfield's rep, Franklin County Tech School Committee. Fund the school committee. Anything else we need to take up? Otherwise, uh, I'll be more than happy to entertain a motion to adjourn. Do we have to change the agenda for next week to anything different than what we have? You don't think that's uh, large enough to drive a truck to? <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Next meeting is the 26th. It's, yeah, and in fact, it's already posted. I don't know if you got yeah, copies got of that. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <coughs> Everybody gets copies of that. Yeah. So we, I said that I would look, I would get some information on Franklin, on, on Frontier. Uh, I'll, and on their transportation. And on the transportation, um, 
and uh, and the tech school was sixteen thousand that we spent last year. Yeah. So there's three things on my agenda or our agenda. I'll see if I can't push them off onto somebody else. <laughs> All right. Again, if somebody would make the motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn. You got oh, it. Is there I a second? Do that. <laughs> is there a second? I'll second it. It's moved and seconded. It's not debatable. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. <laughs>